Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. I have not posted a video in a while, so sorry. Uh, but this is kind of off the cuff. Um, the video that I'm filming, I had not planned on this, but you know, the world works in mysterious ways. So I just had to, I just have to talk about this. I have to get people's reactions and feedback because I am living for it. And of course I think my camera is crooked. Um, yes, location changed again, but finally we are in my new library office. Um, finally got the floors done, my shelves are painted, which my patrons are gonna get to see tonight during sprints, and this is my clothis. Um, I have my desk in the closet because it takes up space, so yeah, anyway. This mess with Good Morning America. Okay, I don't even watch Good Morning America, but the tea is too good not to share, and I'm just cackling at it. Obviously, no, I'm not wishing Good Morning America. Did I say that, or did I just say Good America? Because Good America, that's an oxymoron. Good Morning America, the, the television program, hosts TJ Holmes and Amy Robach, which I have heard of, you know, over time, seen his face maybe once or twice. I'm not familiar with her. But, child, it appears, allegedly, that they're having an affair. Of course, I saw this on Twitter, and not too long after the first tweet, I was seeing photos and video, like, oh my goodness. So now this is all alleged, of course, but both of them are married, and um, there's been some mess dug up that TJ has posted, and there are suspicions that they started dating or started this affair when they were training for the New York City Marathon. And that marathon was like a month ago, maybe? But like, I don't know how early you start training for a marathon, but I would, I would think at least several months in advance. So who knows how long this has been going on, honey. And you're on Good Morning America. Someone said that that show gets like millions of views every day. I don't know how accurate that is. I know it's popular. So it's like, you were out in public bold and didn't worry about it now of course alleged but they are still married and these are not friendly we're just hanging out kiki in photos this is we knocking boots photos i mean you can see it in the energy in these photos and i'm going to show you and of course along with the tweets because that just makes it all the better. And this is why I love Twitter so much. This is one of my favorite ones. Like they're out at a bar having a drink and she is cackling at this man's joke. And someone said, oh, this man was breaking out his best jokes. When you hit her with that joke that makes her lose it and you still talking in her ear and clowning and cracking her up even more, that's when you in the zone, brother. They aren't married to other people. Other people are married to them. Like this, this they in love. They in deep. This is not some casual encounter, casual affair. They down bad. And someone said, I've never seen canoodling until this hit the timeline. This was real life canoodling. Like they in their own romantic comedy. They're just like, we're the main characters. No one else exists. Wow. It is. I have not heard that word used in like ever. <laughs> or maybe in a really long time, but I'm like that. If you needed a photo for the definition of canoodling, it's this photo. And under the post by Pop Crave about them being in an affair, the person put like not caught in 4K and the photos, the images are crisp, child. Like that's them. There's no hiding. There's no under a hoodie, a scarf. They're just oot in a boot, cackling, canoodling, grabbing booty cheeks. Okay, we're holding hands. Um, these are not just some casual photos. People were like, oh no, there's a private investigator involved because these are detailed. They are, you know, showing specific things. You got one from a long range. They had a good ass zoom on their camera. This is no, no regular person. And the person under that tweet said, gallivanting about the town, happily showing the love for the world to see? When you both literally have spouses, in Brook City, bring back shame. Wow, they have, they have none. There is no shame. They're just out here like it ain't no thing, running around like Ghost and Angela. If you know, you know. I mean, wow, it is a mess. This person said, apparently Amy Robach and TJ Holmes started having an affair while they were training for the NYC Marathon, proving my long held belief that literally nothing good comes from being a runner. And you know what? That's facts. 
I knew running was evil, but I didn't know, I didn't know the severity. Uh, I didn't know the maliciousness, you know, of running. And now I know it ruins lives and it breaks marriages. Running ain't good for you. Wow. It's been proven. Scientific facts. Uh, see, this is where masking would have come in handy. But no, you're just out here barefaced. Like, we also have COVID, the flu, RSV, probably other unknown uh, viral, orally transmitted illnesses. And you're like, I'm just going to cheat and not have a mask on. Wow, we're really doubling down on the audacity. Hmm, could not be me. Then there's this troubling, troubling post because where is that tweet? This person said the Good Morning America cheating scandal is giving what a scandal needs to. High stakes, co-anchors on the most watched American newscast, audacity, 65 photos of broad daylight cheating, and evidence hiding in plain sight, the guy's anniversary post. I'm gonna show you this post because, whew, it's not looking good. So two years ago on his wedding anniversary, he posted um, two photos of his wife and this was part participating in a decade challenge. So he said, this particular decade challenge is a little late, but 10 years ago, Marilee Feebig married me. And despite my best effort, she remained married to me the past 10 years. And despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. That's not hyperbole. I'm not being dramatic. I gave her plenty of reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine ass out the door. Why did you do that? But instead, with her built-in black woman superpower. Built-in black woman superpower. She showed a grace and patience that's incomprehensible and undeserving you don't deserve. Asking her for another 10 years would be asking too much. Another 10 months, that may even be a stretch. If she gave me another 10 weeks, I should consider myself lucky. God damn, what were you doing? If she puts up with me another 10 days, I'd be grateful. But if she would even spare another 10 minutes of her time for me today, I should consider myself blessed. This is Marley Feebig Holmes, y'all, and I, TJ Holmes, do solemnly swear that I was her decade challenge. It sounds like you were a goddamn challenge. What kind of post is this? I swear to God, I swear to God, if Andrew ever posted some, you stood by me because you were a strong black woman and kept giving me chances, I'd ah! One, he wouldn't have the opportunity to post that because I'm not gonna stand by you and keep giving you chances to disrespect me. It's not gonna happen. And two, if you ever started some post about strong, but I'm going to knock your ass out. We're not doing that. Those are always red flags. I'm not strong. I am soft. Stop with the strong black woman narrative. This disgusts me. Built in black woman superpower. You and like, what? He just, he just tells on himself so much in this post because he says, and despite my best efforts, so you were trying to get her to divorce you? That's what it sounds like to me. Despite my best efforts, she remained married to me the past 10 years. And that's not hyperbole. He gave her reasons, excuses, and opportunities to walk her fine ass out the door. And here you are, your bitch ass. I mean, I do think he's a nice looking man. But here you are, your bitch ass. With your beautiful wife who not held you down. Because she's innocent, okay? I don't prove guilty. I doubt, I doubt she's cheating, but you know, I don't know. And she just kept giving you chances and chances and chances. And this is what we do. Wow. Insert epic tweet. One thing men will always have is the audacity. Now, yes, I also know that Amy is also cheating, allegedly cheating on her partner, but I'm focusing on this punk ass man right now in this post. I don't have a post from Amy put on that Amy put online, but there could be. But I just had to um, had to share that one. Also, I do not watch the show, so I did not see this. But apparently, after the whole Oscar slap with Will Smith, T.J. Holmes was very on, up on his high horse and 
talking about Will Smith, this tweet said, regarding TJ Holmes, the morning after the Oscars, TJ was so disgusted with Will Smith and pretty much told the Good Morning America audience that Smith stained the whole show and the black crew that historically ran the show. That being said, his adultery news is shameful to him and his family. So like, what's that? I know it's somewhere in the Bible, like don't cast a stone or something, throw back, glass house, whatever. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, something like that. So hmm, TJ, what you staining? I just, Oh, it's the nerve for me. It's the unmitigated gall for me. It's giving very ghetto. This person said TJ Holmes is fine though. Like if Gary Dordan and Michael Ely had a little strong jaw squinting philandering offspring <laughs> and they're not wrong. But see like you're trifling, you philandering floozy. God, that's a good combination. I gotta remember that. But yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, bruv. Now, of course, there are tweets that say, it is not known when or how Holmes' wife, 44-year-old attorney, ooh, ain't she attorney? Mary Lee Feebig and Robux, Robux husband, former Melrose Place actor, Shu, 55, learned of the romance, but both couples went their separate ways in August of this year, according to sources. So allegedly, they're already separated, but they're still married. Um, and so this obviously, if they were, let me, let me Google this just to make sure. When was the New York City Marathon? It was November 6th. So I'm going, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's safe to say they started training for this before August. So I wonder if they have parted ways because they found out about their philandering spouses. They're allegedly philandering spouses. Who knows, but this is, uh, this is good, I hope. Now, I don't hope for more heartache and, and strife and, you know, bad feelings for the spouses that were allegedly cheated. But also, selfishly, I want more mess on my timeline because these tweets, I mean, I'm eating it up. Okay, you get to look at this, this picture that I posted on Patreon, teasing them about my floors and my bookshelves because obviously they can't see the color, but anyway. I just wanted to add this in here that I feel like a lot of the tweets that I saw were focused on TJ and I think that's because I have black Twitter, like I follow a lot of black creators, that's what's like usually on my timeline. But both people here are trifling, TJ and Amy, that's her name, right? Amy? Um, regardless of if they separated in August, I just feel like it's still a little too soon to be out and about grabbing booty cheeks of the person that you allegedly, most likely allegedly cheated on your spouse with. Like that's just, that's beyond disrespectful. Now, over the years, I, my personal views on marriage and things have definitely changed, but I feel as if you make this commitment some would say covenant to another person and you're like i'm riding with you i love you da, 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 never hurt you but then they then they constantly hurt people and you're not even doing it secretively you are two host of this widely watched if not most watched newscast show in america and you're just prancing around, canoodle, doodle, cupcaking in public. Like, I don't know. It's just disrespect all over the place from TJ and Amy. Is her name Amy? I keep feeling like I say Amy and that's not her name, whatever her name is. They're both trifling and I hope both of their spouses go find happiness and respect somewhere else and these bums you know i'm not gonna i don't want to wish negative things but you know it's like is this gonna last <laughs> is it gonna last um we've been it's been dry the last few months so i feel like the try guys and that was like a we had like a couple weeks where it was like one after the other we were eating child and then it's been it's been a little dry and then here come elon musty trying to take our platform from us we're, we're holding on right now it is a little chaotic we're holding on and then i get delivered this Psh, hmm, better than thanksgiving so anyway if you have any thoughts feelings additional receipts or tea to add uh please tell me them down below i just really love mess and yes in the book community right now there's lots of conversations going on within romance landy and about happily ever after i'm gonna leave that to izzy at happy for now if you have not checked out her channel you should um to give y'all the update on that eventually
because I'm fucking this up right now. This is this is my drama right now. So this was all alleged. We don't know any facts. But before you leave, I did want to give you a little <clears throat> a little song. I think it's been a while, and it someone inspired me. Someone's tweet inspired me to sing this song. So I just want to go ahead and <clears throat> give it to you. Hold on. Now you can't get the music obviously because copyright. I'm gonna do my best. For now you and your boys went out to eat. Oh. Then they hung out and you came home around three. Yes, you did. If six of y'all went out, uh, <laughs> then four of you were really cheap. Yeah, because only two of you had dinner. I found your credit card receipt. It's not right. It happened. I just wish that people would take the time and just be like, you know what, before I cheat on my wife, I'm gonna have a conversation with my, my partner and not cheat. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen. I'll see you in my next one, bye.